फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट टाइम एज वी हैव रिमार्कड बिफोर इज द मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल थिंग दैट वी हैव टू स्पेंड वी कैन यूज आवर टाइम और वी कैन वेस्ट इट जस्ट एज वी कैन यूज और वेस्ट आवर मनी देयर इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन टाइम एंड मनी हाउ एवर ऑल द पीपल हु आर रीडिंग दीज वर्ड्स ओन डिफरेंट अमाउंट्स ऑफ मनी नो टू पीपल इन ऑल प्रोबेबिलिटी would be found to have just the same sum down to the last penny if all the money to which they had a right were put down on the table but everyone has the same amount of time we all have our 24 hours each day and for every one of us the hour will supply just 60 minutes of time no more and no less the minute will give us 60 seconds no more and no less and there is nothing whatever that we can do about it try as we may sometimes we long to make time pass more quickly because we are waiting for something wonderful to happen and sometimes we long to make the time pass less quickly because we like the present moment so much science which has done such wonderful things has not yet found a way to change this regular passing of time it does not seem certain however that time is really quite the same for every one of us it is true that we cannot get away from the seconds minutes and hours of each day but it is possible that some people have a feeling for time which is different from that of other people this may account for the fact that there are people who seem to be able to get through a great amount of work in quite a short time while there are others who no matter how hard they work seem to get very little done this is not the result of any real difference in time itself however it is probably owing to a difference in the way that our minds work if one person has a mind that is very quick that sees the point of some remark at once that knows the answer to a question almost before the question has been asked then that person is certainly likely to do more in any given time than the person who needs to look this way and that before seeing the point of a remark and who has to think hard and long before being able to answer a question that is a difference in the mind not in the passing of time much of our time is spent at work in school office or home but it is a poor day that offers us no time at all to spend how we like and the way we spend those few hours that we have to ourselves differs from person to person in these days 
quite a considerable part of people's free time is spent in watching tv before the coming of tv people spent more time with the radio before the radio came there were the pictures and before that there were books all these ways of spending time now exist together and we have many ways of keeping ourselves interested it has always been considered respectable to read books even when a person spent rather too much time upon reading sitting up at night when he should have been in bed he was in some way respected for this to read was to learn and to get knowledge was a good thing but of course many people did not read to learn many read light books love stories for example and when young people read such stories their mothers would say that they were wasting time and that they did not read such things when they were young when it came to going to the pictures the pictures were not considered quite respectable it was perhaps all right to go to the pictures say once a week but to go more often was somehow not quite the thing and when young people did anything wrong it was put down to the bad influence of the pictures the possible bad influence of light reading was no longer remembered and the old people of the new day would say that they did not go to the pictures in their young days today it is the turn of tv watching tv night after night is often said to be the cause of wrong acts committed by young people because of course the old people of the still new year age did not watch tv in their young days perhaps a form of pleasure has to be more or less out of date before we can consider it a respectable way of passing the time stop